I'm Joe Johnson. As we launch into another edition of Beetle Brunch, a celebration of the greatest group in rock history, featuring the songs and stories of the Fab Four on stage, backstage, and in the studio. Plus, musician Tim Piper pipes in to take us through Paul's early songwriting. I'm Joe Johnson, and this is Bela Brunt, celebrating Sir Paul. And now it's time to welcome once again our friend, musician Tim Piper, to give us a bit of a run-through on some of the songs written by Paul that you may not have been aware that he wrote. Hey, Tim. Hey, Joe. Great to be back on Beetle Brunch, where you learn a bunch. The great Sir James Paul McCartney at 72. Unbelievable. A Gemini like myself. You know, Paul learned a lot from his father, Jim McCartney, who was a volunteer firefighter during World War II. He had his own jazz band called Jim Max Jazz Band in the 20s, where he played piano and trumpet. Now, as you remember, Paul's mother died when he was only 14. She was a midwife. You know, I believe that one of Paul's earliest songwriting attempts might have been about his mother. It's called I Lost My Little Girl. Let me grab the guitar and show you. Well, I woke up late this morning. My head was in a whirl. It was only then I realized I lost my little girl. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, that's great. Another early McCartney composition that they even played at the clubs in Hamburg ended up on the Sgt. Pepper album. You might remember this one. When I get older, losing my hair. Many years from now, we should be sending me a valentine, birthday greetings, bottle of wine. Will you still need me? Will you still feed me when I'm 64? Early in their career, John and Paul realized that songwriting could be very profitable, and they were writing for people like Billy J. Kramer and Tommy Quickly, Scylla Black. Well, Paul's girlfriend at the time was Jane Asher, and so for her brother Peter Asher, Peter and Gordon, he wrote this number one hit. Please lock me away And don't allow the day Here inside Where I hide With my loneliness I don't care what they say I won't stay in a world without love And even with all the success that they had, they still wrote for other artists. The young group... The Ivies, which became Badfinger. Right. Paul said, record this one just like I wrote it, and I guarantee it's going to be a number one. If you want it, here it is, come and get it. Mm -hmm. Make your mind up fast. If you want it, any time I can give it. But you better hurry, cause it may not last. Paul always had a keen eye for talent, and he discovered this young girl from Wales named Mary Hopkin and wrote a classic for her called Goodbye. Please don't wake me up too late Tomorrow comes And I will not be late Late today when it becomes Tomorrow I will leave and go away Goodbye 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 my love Goodbye And Paul came full circle when he got to write a song for his idols the Everly Brothers On the Wings of a Nightingale sounded like this When I look I get the feeling like I'm traveling through the sky on the wings of a nightingale I'll fly Over land and sea I'll be thinking of you and me Couldn't think of a better place to be On the wings of a nightingale Ah, the fabulous Sir James Paul McCartney. Ah, happy birthday to Paul. Tim Piper, thank you so much. Thank you, Joe, very much for letting me be on Beetle Brunch with you guys again. Always a pleasure. And if you're in the Los Angeles area, join us this August at the West Valley Playhouse for Just Imagine. Thanks, Tim. I'll see you in two weeks. Brought to you by the Beetle Brunch Club. It's the place where Beetle fans get together to listen to the show on demand with deluxe tracks not broadcast. Plus, go back in time and hear old brown shows, Beetle Brunches from 20 years ago today and before. Join up for just pennies a day at brunchradio.com.